I swear these crazy videos always happen on kick, don't they? Just some context, both these guys are streamers, and from what we know so far, the guy in the black was harassing the guy in the white, he was told to leave. The guy in the black plays a stupid game, and he gets a stupid prize. I'm not a streamer, I don't give a fuck. They're really not because a streamer, but most of the stream. Oh, Yo, what the heck? No, no, They're no, both no. streamers. They're both sure, streamers. Sure, They're both sure. the character most but, streamers. But, but, but. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. Don't, don't get close to me. Don't get close to me, bro. Don't even get close to me. I asked you for it for What's your bottle. Oh, I mean, right, bro, you have to do that. Why? Paradox and oxide. I mean, you could have asked. I would have gone first. Are you going to keep doing this? Bro, I know these people that you're bringing to me. Guys, you're watching a fucking thing. Diffuse it. Go and diffuse it. Come on, guys. Alonzo, I, I, I'll kick. I'll give it to you now. You got to diffuse the situation. Here's all. Here's all. Double Bart Jackson says. Stupid. Stupid. Why'd you hit me, stupid? Bro. You should have touched me. You should have touched me. He's a goddamn thief. It's called congratulations. You played yourself. This video is the definition of fuck around and find out streamer edition. You gotta give him credit. I mean, that was a beautiful left hook. Gotta give him that. I know there's people who will say he went too far, but look, he hit him in the head with the flipping bat. He told him, don't touch me, walk away. And he hit him first, so he was kind of asking for it. I hope when he wakes up, he learned a valuable lesson there. You can't be putting your hands on strangers and expecting nothing in return. Because you're a streamer, you're not invincible. What a... You ain't doing nothing either, mate. And you lot are talking about you're going to knock people out. You lot couldn't even knock a door, you bunch of saps. You're only piping up because there's a guy double your size stood in front of you, mate. If that guy once stood there, you lot wouldn't be saying shit. Sit down with your child tickets on the bus and get home before your mum tells you off. Man, I don't give no fuck about no feds. Call him. Call him then. Oh, there's cops over there? I don't even give a fuck about no cops. Call them on me. Call the cops on me. Come on, call the cops on me. This clip is so true. Before YouTube, I was working in a security firm, and these people that act like the tough guys, they want you to stop them, grab them, and give them a hard time so they can get their Snapchat out and record it for their 10 friends on there. If anything, they're out looking for police so they can get a little highlight on their Instagram. Who? Who? You're the one driving like I'm not an driving. idiot. She's got the fucking phone. I have the phone. I, I watch you on the phone. I have you to take pick your finger up. Oh, fuck you, man. Fuck you, you bitch. Don't fucking take my fucking picture. Get the fuck away from my car, buddy. Okay. Get the fuck away, buddy. Oh, you want to fuck around? Baby, don't. You piece of shit. Why don't you show up better example for your fucking girlfriend? You're on the fucking phone, asshole. I want you on the phone. Congratulations, you played yourself. He was lucky that this guy was a gentle giant. Obviously, we only saw the clip when they both pulled up, so I don't really know who's in the wrong. This guy could have got out and snapped that guy's shit up, but, you know, fair play to his kids. He shouldn't be doing that in front of them, but they jumped out to, you know, try and calm the situation. That's what the adult should be doing. Hopefully this guy learns from this and doesn't act like that again. Yeah, what that is? It's mercury, it's uh, it's like mad like expensive. Like it's low-key more expensive than that. I'm just saying, I don't want to flex on you, boy, but. Boy, that's an auto, boy, that's an auto boy, I forget, boy, that's AP. Oh, I noticed it was like fake bape though. I was gonna call you out on it. Oh yeah! Hey, so what that is on your? Oh, this is you special, hurt? no, this is special. What is it? Yeah, my boyfriend got me this, like. Uh. What? <laughs> no, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. You're running him up because when I bring people up here and I start cracking your glass jaws, and then you will like it. When your jaws start breaking, people start chasing you out of this union, you know you will like it. Watch your mouth because you don't know who you're talking to sometimes. I know, listen, all that public eye bullshit, I ain't into all that. So, just some context these uni students were on their balcony, mouthing off, shouting verbal abuse at now they know is Anthony Joshua, 
British boxer, one of the best heavyweights in the world. And he said it right there and then, you don't know who you're shouting to. And they think they're all safe on their balcony and they go to the door and it's flipping Anthony Joshua stood there. <laughs> What's up? You want a one, two or three piece? <laughs> Y'all like I'm laughing? You want a one, two or a three piece? What? 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 What piece? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you want a one, two, or a three piece? I have no idea what you're talking about. You sure about that? No. I'm definitely sure. Don't look at me. Turn your head the other way. What? Exactly. What you said? What you said? What you oh, you want a one? Two oh. or three feet. <laughs> oh, now I see what you're talking about. Here you go, man. They got $300 uh, for you, bro. Uh, yeah. That's uh -huh. I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. Happy you. holidays, dog. You too, man. All right, be good. Man, you still, you still it up, though. I like that. Thanks. Take care, man. I mean, he's hitting below the belt there to, you know, get some views and that. Intim that you know they singled this guy out they thought oh yeah this guy looks like he would be shy and intimidated i know he gave him 300 but i don't think this it's just good stuff to promote this sort of thing i mean that guy was clearly uncomfortable in that situation i just think you got to be a bit of a melon to do content like this i think if you're going to give someone money why not just do it in a humble way you ain't got to go to these measures man and then this next clip keep an eye on the guy in the black vest with like the spider logo on it that nipper's 16 years old Wow, man. Uh, damn. 16 years old. He's got some good skills on him, I'll give him that. I know the other guy he was sparring against, he didn't look too experienced, but the 16 year old, he stayed composed, calm. He didn't get ahead of himself when he started landing those good shots. I definitely see a bright future with him if he sticks at it. No distractions when he turns 18 though. Well, you can get out of going anyway. Go on then, you stupid fucking idiot. How he's gonna stop like you did there. He's gonna show you what you did. Come on, you're gonna pull, you? Oh, Paul! For Christ's sake, now we're gonna have road rage. Mm. Well, careful, don't open because of mine. Well, what were you beeping at me for? You're exactly nothing but a coward. Oh, go away. Just ignore him because he might have a bloody knife. Just... Bloody coward, what was all that about? Anthony? I have no idea. So he jumps out of the van with a blade and calls him a coward. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm telling you, you come over to the UK, you've got to watch out for van drivers. Because I don't know where you lot are at, but over here, van drivers are the worst. They are the worst drivers. Nah, it don't matter. I ain't doing nothing. I said I don't want to be staring at you too long Jay, you keep going out your mouth. What do you want to do, blood? Yo, bro, I don't care about nothing. So apparently, this guy did absolutely nothing wrong. He was just looking in this guy's direction and he started piping up and talking a load of waffle for 30 minutes. Look, people who don't play no games, they ain't gonna talk for half an hour, they're just gonna do it. But luckily for this guy, you know, he didn't do anything wrong and the guy didn't do nothing. Just all talk, all bark and no bite. All right, what's your name? Jaren, D1. Say that again? D1. It kind of sounded like you said your real name for a second and then you, yeah. Yeah, the feds got you now though. They're gonna put you in the fence, fam. All right, what song are you trying to do? No diet, dig a D. They call me Bigger B, but you get me, yeah? Um, yeah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna, yeah, uh, 
The funny thing is, this is how most of the teenagers are in the UK now, all with their night track suits, their man bags, their vapes, two for a fiver, strawberry and ice, blueberry ice flipping vapes. A lot of these youngsters think they're tough guys, they talk like tough guys. Give it a few years when these guys get checked and they'll reconsider their life decisions, I'm sure.